Hi, thanks for hanging out. In this video, I'll show you how to make this donut board with LED lights. Let's get after it. I started by printing these number templates and laying them over some scrap plywood and tracing around them. I wanted a bit of depth, so I cut two sets of numbers out of some scrap plywood. The circles on those templates are where the pins are going to go. I'll just use a punch to mark them and drill them out later. I'm using a jigsaw to rough cut these and I'll sand them smooth later. I've just put a hole in the middle of these to drop the jigsaw blade down to allow me to cut the center of these patterns. There's a few splinters after cutting those with the jigsaw, so I'm just using some sandpaper just to knock the edges smooth before gluing them up. I've used the standard wood glue for this job and just made sure that it's good coverage. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not structural, it's just decorative. I'm gonna join those pieces together, put lots of clamps on those and let those set overnight and then they'll be ready for sanding tomorrow. These have had plenty of time to dry, so I'm just gonna remove the clamps and start sanding. I'm gonna use a bench sander for anything I can get to on the outsides of these numbers, and then a small drum sander in a clamp for anything on the inside of the numbers. I'm not looking to get these 100% perfect to the line necessarily, that's a guide, but I really just want them to look good and be smooth all the way around. I've got these sanded to a point that I'm happy with them and now drilling the holes. If you remember on the templates I had marks where the holes were going to go which I've just punched to give me a mark to be able to line up the drill to drill these holes out. I'm drilling a 16mm or 5 8 hole. I've got a battery powered clear LED light strip that I'm going to use to go around the edge of the numbers just to help illuminate those a little bit more. To do that I'm using a chamfer bit in the router and just cutting a relief on what will be the underside of these numbers when it's on the backing board which will just allow me to tuck that LED light strip just up and in and under the numbers just a little bit just to keep it a little bit more hidden. The 
This is a 16 millimeter or 5 8 dowel that I'm just cutting to length. And I'm just gonna knock the edges of each end off on the sander just to allow those to go into the holes a little bit more easily when gluing them up. And just to make sure that there are no sharp edges if anyone happens to bump it. The holes weren't precise enough for the dowels to be a snug fit. So I've clamped the numbers upside down and I'm going to glue the dowels in with them all leaning in the same direction. When I flip this back up the other way, there'll actually be a little incline on the dowels, which will help keep the donuts on the board. Time to paint these now. I'm using a black acrylic gloss paint and I'm more concerned about getting the edges and the face and the dowels covered. So I'm not too concerned if the back doesn't get a good coat of paint as well. The backing board is gonna be white to give it a nice contrast. And I've just used some ceiling white that I had lying around to be able to give that a nice coat of paint. On the backing board, I added this little strip of timber that will sit against the wall. This does two things. It gives me a relief for the light controller and also helps the bottom of the board just sit out a little bit and give it a little bit more angle. I've got a couple of screws started in the backing board to secure the numbers with. I'll then stand the backing board up and put in the rest of the screws. These two holes and the one below the five will allow me to run the light strips around the numbers on the inside and the outside from the back of the board. All of the crisscrossing will be behind the board where you can't see it, so it'll look like the light strip is just around the numbers. borrowed my daughter's pink hot glue gun for this job. I've chosen hot glue to glue these light strips in because it sets really quick and I can just put the glue into that relief that I cut with the router before and then just press the light strip in and hold it and it sets really really quickly. It's not ideal, it did only last a couple of days before there were a few spots that came loose. I'm now using those holes that I mentioned before to be able to feed the light strip in now that I've gone around the outside of the zero and I'll feed it up and through the hole on the inside of the zero and then glue the strip around the inside, poke it back down through that hole and then feed it along the back and up through the hole at the bottom of the five and then I'll glue the light strip around the edge of the five.
hot glue worked well on the night and it lasted until about two or three days later where around a few of these tight corners it started to get a little bit loose. I think a better long term option would be something like silicon and then just holding those strips in place for a little bit longer to allow that to set and that would give you a much better finish longer term. These light strips were 10 meters or around about 30 feet long. So I had a little bit of excess after going around the edges of all the numbers. And so what I did was I just glued that around the edge of the board itself, which I think gave a really good effect. In a minute, I'll show you just a shot of the back of the board. You can see some of the light strips crisscrossing each other and where they go up and down through those holes and also just how I mounted the light controller. I just put some hot glue on the back of that and just squished it onto the back of the board and that worked great. And with that, this little project is wrapped up. I think it looks good. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks great at night with the lights going as well. And most importantly, the Krispy Kreme stayed on and they tasted fantastic as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the project and that it may have given you some ideas to try something like this or similar yourself. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those below. And as always, remember life's short, so get after it.